I don't even understand Garrett's response in his own theory. So let's first of all criticize Garrett before right. we put me in hot water. I often hear, as I did uh, when I talked to Stephen Wolfram by himself, and then Eric and, and uh, Stephen got together for a live uh, debate over the summer as well. But I said, which of you guys really thinks that this theory of everything is doing a disservice? Because it's actually, in my opinion, what's, what Stephen has is not going to come up with the Aharon of Bohm effect. Or maybe it will, but maybe it won't come up with, with uh, Bell's inequality. In other words, it's not really a theory of everything. It might be a, a unified theory or something like that. So, Garrett, let me ask you, is, is you know, E8 is exceptional uh, theory that you've developed. Is that really going to come up with things like uh, the double slit experiment is it going to come up with strange spooky action at a distance or is it is it not and i'm saying this merely but it's not pejorative in any sense is it restricted to unification via mathematical structures in this representation theory um f fashion um uh, the short answer is no because e8 does not inherently contain a geometric description of quantum physics which is something that eric said he was uh that ultimately we we're going to need to go for. So if you really want a unified theory and uh, not be faking it, you also need a description of quantum physics in a natural way that includes the things you, you described. So that's what I'm working on next. So I'm, I'm next working on structures such as generalized Lie groups that inherently contain descriptions of quantum physics that would start to be able to give you exactly those things that you described. And Eric, would it emerge from uh, you and I have talked about this, but for the record, let's say it in front of uh, Garrett. What where wherein lies things like the uh, spooky action at a distance, like Bell's inequality? Does that lie within the geometric unity purview? I don't even understand Garrett's response in his own theory. So let's first of all criticize Garrett before right. we put me in hot water. All right, go for it. Yeah. All right. The thing about I don't think Garrett is actually accurate. Uh, one of the really important things about uh, what happened in the 1970s, where we actually made progress, but we pretend that we didn't make progress in the structure of mathematics because we're embarrassed where the progress happened. It, it happened around the mathematics of field theory rather than in the specifics of the field theory that seemed to describe our world. Mm -hmm. In fact, if Garrett has a Lagrangian, which he does, and that Lagrangian um, is applied to the fields, which it, it is, Garrett will find that he will have something called a phase space. He'll have a configuration space. He will have a phase space. The phase space will inherit a structure called a symplectic form. That symplectic form will become the curvature of a differential operator on something called a line bundle. And that line mm -hmm. bundle is a something like the XY plane where you can look at functions um, and those functions will become the quantum states of a quantum field theory. So I think that what Garrett just said to, is not actually accurate. But you still accurate, need even where about is Planck's constant come in there. I mean, you you don't you don't have quantum quantum mechanics. You have to add. It's something you have to add. It doesn't come out naturally from that. No, I don't agree with this necessarily. I believe oh. that geometric quantization. There are some things that we say about quantum theory that I have not been convinced of. One is is that it's an art rather than a functor. But I think the geometric quantization goes a long way towards saying that just as um, Vinter's, Vintner's uh, claim that wine is what happens when you stop grape juice from becoming uh, vinegar, well, in some sense, classical field theory is what happens when you stop um, a mechanics from quantizing itself. And I think that Garrett's theory is entirely capable of quantizing itself in a geometric quantization uh, format simply by virtue of the fact that uh, through a Legendre transformation, he'll get from a Lagrangian to a Hamiltonian picture. The Hamiltonian picture will turn out to be uh, affiliated with a line bundle. And then when the spooky action at a distance uh, will come up in the multiparticle theory as his theory quantizes itself. And I don't understand his pessimism. That's not his problem. I he's don't got bigger, know how he's got something bigger quantizes problems. himself. I, I think of quantum mechanics as, a, as come bringing in a whole bunch of structural elements that either have to appear by hand, or I guess I can I'm see how they're a few pages out of Woodhouse, and I think that you'll find that you're, you're in far better shape if you can just get your stuff in order. <laughs> uh, <laughs> happy to have a look. I, I still think of quantum mechanics as a, uh, a structure that most physicists would uh, bring in as a toolkit to use with other things rather than something that, can, that emerges naturally from a 
from a geometric system. We'll but see. I, I'm, I'm a little from your point of view how you'd see it that way. Yeah, I'm more sanguine that because Garrett has <clears throat> uh, hugged the shore of geometry, uh, he will be richly rewarded if he can ever get his stuff to really work. Mm -hmm. <laughs>